Good morning. Oh, ahoy there. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> look at our look at our feast. Yeah, so last night we set out this little door hanger with what we wanted for breakfast. We marked everything we wanted. And now we have it. And now we have it. It just magically appears. We love using this door hanger thing. It's my favorite thing in the world. So what did we get here? So I took the fruit with like a bunch of bread with jam and cream cheese. Actually, the bacon's mine too. Oh. And then you got pancakes with croissants. Yeah. And then we each got our juice of choice. And then of course, last night we went and got our caffeine of choice. Yeah, <laughs> we got that at Cafe Promenade. With our diamond drink vouchers. Yeah, and we're pulling into Nassau now. It's like way off in the distance there. Oh, you know what's really dumb of me? I was looking that way for it. Oh, yeah, well, the ship's moving that way. <laughs> it's early. Um, do you want to um, tell everyone about your embarrassing moment? Oh, so <laughs> this stuff doesn't actually magically just appear, everybody. Somebody comes and brings it to you. And, and, if you get like pancakes and bacon, there's an upcharge to the breakfast, it's like $7 or something. But it's worth it. Yeah, and so I signed the bill or whatever, and I hand it back, and the guy goes, enjoy your breakfast, and I go, you too. He's not But you know what? Breakfast. Maybe he was actually going to go eat breakfast after that. I hope so. It, at least it's not like at like the airport and the TSA is like enjoy your trip and you go you too. Yeah, I feel like that happens all the time. Let's hey, eat. Hey, guess what? Guess what? I can't believe we waited this long to tell you. It's Brian's birthday. Today is his birthday. Oh no. It's his birthday cruise, but today's his birthday. I feel so old. He is. 29? He's like basically 30. I'm dating a 30 year old. What? What if it's he? Happy birthday. <laughs> Here we are. We just got off the ship. We made it. So the captain made an announcement and said there's only two ships in Nassau today, which he said was like a rare thing. And guess what the other ship is? Just guess. It's the Disney Wish. But now that I think about it, like I do think like every time we've been here, there's been like way more than two ships here. For sure. So. Also, look, they like created shade. This is really yeah. nice. Uh, so these shade things, like, so this is where we're waiting for our excursion. Um, and this wasn't here before. Last time we were here, these shade structures were not here. But they have been under construction for like a lot of the times that we've been. Like here. since like we started cruising together. Yeah, yeah. so like, it's nice to see it finally come together. It looks really yeah. nice. It's really nice to um, wait for the excursion in the shade. Yes. So here's the excursion we're doing. The Aqua Adventure Oasis Water Park full day. At Atlantis. At Atlantis. If you didn't know, Atlantis is actually on a different island. Um, it's on Paradise Island and we're on New Providence Island and uh, that's where Nassau is. Which is a city. It's not the name of yeah, the Nassau's island. Yeah, Nassau is a city. But the island is right next to it. Like, you could swim to, the, the, to Paradise Island. And um, it's like, it's that hotel that you always see from your balcony yeah. of your cruise ship. You always see it and you're like, wow, I want to be there. We're going to be there. So I don't know if we're taking a bus or a boat. We both have different yeah. memories. Like I'm pretty sure I took a water taxi when I went and Brian's pretty sure he took a bus when he went. So yeah. who knows? Yeah. Here's the thing about this excursion. It's expensive for a water park. It, it's about $200 per person. Um, and like the Disney water parks are $70 per person. Universal Volcano Bay is um, $80 per person. But it is at a hotel and it does include transportation. Yeah, I will say, so this morning I looked up, there's like resortpass.com or something like that. And there's um, Margaritaville near here and there's Baja Mar near here. Margaritaville is $79 for a day pass and Baja Mar is $160 for a day pass. So Atlantis is the most expensive, but it includes transportation. But I also think it's like probably the most popular, I think. And it's through the cruise ship. Yeah. Who's lying? But even if you book it on their website, it's expensive. Yeah. But we'll see if it's worth it. I also want to do those other resort day passes in the future. Me too. Here's a look at the Wish and our ship, the Independence. So the Wish is actually 
uh, seven feet longer than the Independence. Oh, I thought you were going to say it's, it's just seven feet. <laughs> That's it. One foot longer than Brian. But the Independence is 10,000 gross tons heavier. So I guess ours is taller. All, yeah, ours, is probably, ours also holds more passengers. Okay. But they're very similar in size. I see Rapunzel. Yeah. It is so cool how they put different characters on the stern of each It makes ship. so much sense that she's painting it. I love that. Well, yeah, like they're all painting it. Like Goofy's painting it. I know, but like it really makes sense for Rapunzel to be painting it because she's always painting the walls of her tower. You're right. What's the little gecko's name? Pascal. Or a chameleon, I should say. Pascal. And surprised. don't disrespect him. I'm surprised you knew. What? <laughs> also, look at the backup camera they have on there. Oh my god. That's really cool. I bet it's almost as good as the one in my Toyota Corolla. Okay, it turns out it's not a boat. It is a bus. The bus. Uh, I think there's three of them. I can't tell if this one's also one. So it does take an hour from like the time that your excursion ticket says to like, like getting... Like our said like meet here at 9.15. Yeah, so then we had to like take the bus, we had to get our wristbands, we signed a waiver, all that good stuff. But now we're here. Now we're here and we're walking through, she said walk through the casino and then... Out like a double doors by a million dollar chair, is that what she said? Yeah. I remember taking a picture of this when I was a kid. Okay, she said, take a right at the million dollar chair. I think that's it. I think that's our right. So here we go. <laughs> it's funny that we're supposed to look at that chair and go, that's a million dollars. <laughs> there's a shark over there. That's crazy, like way down there. Oh, and there's a stingray. Where, where, where? Do they, do they bite? Oh, I would hope so. <laughs> this is, this is a lot. This is crazy. Oh, I see a water slide and oh. people with tubes. Okay. So the first thing I want to do is the Lazy River. Is it? Is that the way it like takes you uphill sometimes? Yes! Is that right? Okay. From what I remember, this Lazy River is like the most insane thing ever. Like people think the Action River at like Volcano Bay or um, what, what's it? Aquatica at SeaWorld? Oh like, yeah. It makes that look like nothing. Like, wow, nothing. I'm excited. Yeah. So I think we're going to do that first. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's a Halloween cat too. Peter? <laughs> Here's the famous uh, water slide. I don't the care, there's a cat. This is a Halloween cat. Hi, baby. Are you a good boy? You a good girl? Hi, sweetie. Probably has rabies. Oh my God, I hope so. Oh my God. Is this a real Starbucks or uh, a proudly serving? I mean, it has the sign. If this is real. Then your I, life is me. Well, I wonder if I can use my birthday, my free birthday drink. That would be amazing. But I think it's a different like reward system yeah. when you're not in America, so I don't think it would work. Mm. It's a really nice day out though. It's uh, 84 degrees right now, sunny, blue skies. I'm sorry, I'm in awe because there's somebody going through on a tube and like paddling and then there's like oh. sharks. Oh my God. Like that's insane. I wanna do that. There's a lot of sharks in there. That's cool. I wanna wait for somebody else to come by on um, a tubey. Look at that fish. Like. How is he alive? Is he alive? Oh, he's about to be fish, <laughs> he's about to be shark food. Oh, look, here comes someone now. Okay, good. This would be a funny thing of like, if, if one of us goes alone and like to get a photo, you know? Yeah, that is so fun. Okay, we need to get a seat so that we can get on that. The Rapids River. Protect your spine. <laughs> Do not sit below two oh opening. God. Brian Protect has told spine. me that this thing is dangerous, so. <laughs> My spine is ready. Yeah, I think this is where we're gonna like set our stuff down, make this like home base, kind of. I don't really know where this is, but it seems nice. Yeah. Okay, here we go. This is the only Lazy River I know of that has an, a lift hill in it. Yeah. Which okay. we're about to go do. Right yeah. A Lazy River with a lift hill. This is, protect your spine. <laughs> wow. Are we supposed to cross our feet like that? I don't know. She just said protect your legs. So I don't want them like out. Really. Oh my god. 
There was just a warning, and now there, there's a sign back there that says warning, high intensity ride. <laughs> it's funny that the lazy river is like, you will, your spine will bust. Yeah. <laughs> How do I protect my spine? I don't know. I, I, don't let your butt touch the water. It's a, my butt is in my it's uh, in the water. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It's very shallow. <laughs> Oh my god, really? Yes. Wow, in this spot you could literally touch the ceiling. I probably could. Yeah, I probably could. Little. No. I like this spot. If I lifted my head up, it would smash my skull. <laughs> You really do have to like keep your booty up and keep your legs crossed because there's like these rocks in the water that like jut out and my booty got got by a rock. Oh my god. So I have to like do this each time. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Okay. Okay, we're reunited now. Wow. Look how tall the walls are. It's because like the wave gets that high. Yeah. Whoa. Wow. <laughs> we go. Oh my god. <laughs> that guy tried to make me throw up. Did you see him spinning me around? Wait, really? He was just spinning and spinning and spinning me until the wave came. I didn't see that. What are we having for lunch? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Wee. The waves are cool. Yeah. I like this part of it the best. I don't know if I like it. What do you think of the lazy river or the action river, whatever they call it? I don't know. It was good. I particularly liked what for us was the last part, but for normal people is the first part. Like oh, the waves. Yeah, it was like calming yet still actiony. Yeah. So now we're gonna go to that tower of slides, and I think that that ride exits in the lazy river mm. so we're gonna try to do that all right. okay the power tower water slides okay so it's called the rapids river not the lazy river okay this is the surge slide at the power tower and i'm pretty sure we will exit in the lazy river because we just had to go grab tubes from the lazy river yeah. so that makes sense you can really see the ocean from here yeah wow this is cool we just put our tube down in here yeah, let's go. I think we should do the same one. That way we end up at the same place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you can, first. you go first. Can you go first? Oh my god. Holy crap! Dude! Oh my god! Oh my god! So, we did exit into the lazy river. I see where we are. Yeah, let's get out. We should go in the one with the sharks. Yeah. It is really cool that it exits you in the lazy river. Like yeah. that's an amazing feature for a water slide to have. Yeah. But um, that thing is like, it's like dangerous. Oh my God. I literally was going backwards for like 90% of the ride. And I was so scared because it's like pitch black. And yeah. I don't know where I'm going. And oh my God. <laughs> that was actually a terrifying ride. And like my butt was hitting like, it's like an aqua coaster in a way. And the jets are like, there's no protection on the under, on, oh. on the um, the bottom. Yeah. Like it was actually kind of painful. And then like my legs were like hitting the walls. Like yeah. that was insane. It makes you uh, marvel at Typhoon Lagoon, Volcano Bay, Aqua, whatever SeaWorld one is called. What is that called? Aquatica. Adventure? Oh, what's Aqua Adventure? I don't know. Are this, they? this is where oh. I Aqua <laughs> Like, and then when you exit, there's like, it's like five inches of water that you're going down. Oh my gosh. And then it's like a traffic jam because another uh, slide will exit. exit at the same place as yours. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. What do you think about that? It feels stupid. That's what I <laughs> But now because you made me do that, you have to carry this up there. Okay. That's the whole reason why you get a boyfriend. He carries your tubes. 
Wow, we're waiting in line for this, the tube slide, which is that one. And I think, does that one you just go out with no tube? Yeah. You can I, see. Like, it's pretty straight down, so you like zip through it. You can see like all the sharks in there. Yeah, they're big boys. That's cool. Oh wait, I should stop saying that. It's awesome, that's great, that's amazing. I like how they have um, like a sunbed. Oh, oh my god, I didn't even realize that. Down there. Like three big boys over there. That's where they're sleeping. Yeah. Wow. Soaking up the sun. Another thing that's really neat is so there's the sharks over there. What's even cooler than that is over there, there's a Starbucks. <laughs> yeah, what's more of a natural wonder of the world? The Starbucks. Yeah. How scary is this ride? You hear lots of screaming. The people are screaming like bloody murder. <laughs> What did you think of the slide? I loved it. That was my favorite of the day. Wow. It was cool. Yeah, and I saw Sharky. Okay, we're gonna do one more slide. This one's called the Abyss. I'm a little scared of that name. Yeah, it's a scary name. It's a body slide. It's another slide that's in this, um, what is this? The Power Tower? Yeah, it's in the Power Tower. What a name, the I Power don't Tower. I can't see it anywhere, so like, I can't judge whether, whether I'd like it or not. I'm scared, can you tell? I'm glad you're scared. Okay, thank you. Wow, look at the view from up here. This is cool. So this is the other one that we were on before that exited in the Lazy River. And it's crazy, cause like the water that shoots you up, like your butt hits the bottom of the slide and it hurts. And also you turn around and like your legs are hitting the sides, it's crazy. All right, so this is an enclosed slide. I don't like that I can't see it. Like, if you scream, I'm leaving. Okay, well, I'll make sure not to scream. No, <laughs> Okay, Carrie's chickening out. She's, the life part said that it goes straight down, and I watched a guy, and it literally, like, it, first it lulls you into thinking, like, it will go like this, but then he, like... <laughs> okay, let's go do a different one. Okay. I just, I don't like that I can't see it, because if I could see it, then I could determine if I would want to do it or not. But because I can't see it, how can I determine? Well, do you want to do this one in here? Yeah, I wonder if there's like a... Like a, a free... Road. Wait, right behind you. Okay. Okay, we're getting this. This is how we're going to get down. This is scary! Oh my god! Ah! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> oh. That was a short one. It was a short one. It was really dark at the beginning. Yeah. Okay, now we're back in the lazy river. Not quite yet. But that's where we came out before. Oh yeah, that's that's where the other slide exited. Near where we put our stuff down before we went into the lazy river, we um, there was a little place to get lunch. So that's what we got. That's what we got. And they had something crazy. They had this soda. What was it called? Goombe Punch. Bahamas Goombe Punch. So that's cool. I can't wait to try that. And then we just got chicken nuggets and fries. I'm excited because it looks piping hot. And then the lady was like, be careful because it's going to be really hot. And I was like, okay. Yeah, yeah by and the like, way. And like, there's sweet and sour sauce. Oh, that's cool. I love that. By the way, I also got an espresso frappuccino. And this is like the strongest espresso frappuccino I've ever had. They make it really strong here. Like, look at this. You can see how dark it is. That's crazy. We also saw another cat on our way here. Oh my god, that was amazing. Here's my problem with this. When you give ketchup packets, where do I put it? Where do I put the ketchup? Directly, Directly onto, onto the chicken the nugget? Pie. Here, try this, this Bahamas punch. Okay. It makes a funny noise when I put the straw in. That wasn't that funny. Okay, it was funnier when I did this one. <laughs> First of all, I really like it. Second of all, I feel like it's like Sprite and like mango. Wow, I don't know what that is. I don't know, but, but do you like it? I like it. Yeah, it's pretty good. Um, by the way, the beach is like right there. I think after lunch, we should go check out the beach here. Yeah, you know, like I agree. There's, there was like steps back there. Like we can just walk to the beach. That's cool. Is it good? Oh, hot. Here's the little beach area. Like that's where we were just eating over there, so. 
This is cool that you can just go to the beach at the water park. And like, it's not crowded no. at all. It's very nice here. I, I think it's worth the price of Atlantis because like the beach is empty. This pool behind us is empty. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I went to use the bathroom and usually at a water park, bathrooms kind of suck because it's like all wet and it kind of smells weird because it's like half water park water and half pee pee. Yeah. And like this was the world's nicest water park bathroom I've ever been into. I walk in and there's like the swan towel animal that's like on our magnets and it's got that's like crazy. flowers laid out on it. It's beautiful. Really? Yes. Oh and God. then like it's gigantic. Like you walk in and it's like, it's like you're at like the royal palace or something. And then I use this bathroom and like there's no water on the ground. I can tell that it was like freshly cleaned wow. and it was like I mean, I, I, I don't often talk about bathroom experiences, but like, it's notable. There's a Gus in the bathroom. There's a Gus in the bathroom. There's a guy named Gus in the bathroom. <laughs> and in the women's bathroom. And he's there to welcome you. <laughs> okay, this is actually kind of cool. This is really if you, nice. If you could figure it out. Oh, is this all the way? Oh, oh, there we go. Like, look at that. It's covering the whole thing. That's really cool. Oh, good night. And I think this is just like open for the taking. Seems like it. There's a lot of them. This is a very smart invention. I've never seen this. And it seems pretty sturdy. Like it's better than a umbrella. Yeah. I love Goombay Punch. <laughs> the sun is draining. Yeah. Even if you have an espresso frappuccino, it doesn't help. <laughs> like, you know, I like, feel like it also doesn't help waking up at, you know, 1.15 to look for a rocket launch. That's true. But yeah, we're gonna um, head out now and but on our way out we're gonna stop at the aquarium yeah i distinctly remember seeing like the world's biggest fish at the aquarium here when i was young i think that fish has since died but there's other fish well if he died i hope that they served him in the restaurant who died the fish that you're claiming died what fish you just said the fish oh the giant fish yeah. okay say it again no i'm keeping wait look at the swing should i swing on that yeah that's cool Wow, it's like underneath the arch of the hotel. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah, it is cool. It's a good swing. Didn't they tell us that like, you have to be very, very rich to stay up they there? Like, they're like, oh, it's a million dollars a night to stay in the arch thing. And they're like, Michael Jackson did it. Bill Clinton did it. I don't know. I feel like they say it's a hundred thousand a night. Or yeah, something. something crazy. I don't know. But I feel like every tour guide likes to like say a different number for that. <laughs> but they always mention it. Yeah. So what did you think of this excursion? I really liked it. I think I liked it more than you did. When you think about like the other things that are here in Nassau, like Blue Lagoon and Pearl Island, I just think there's more to do here. And the price that you pay extra is well worth that more to do. There's literally like, a shark swimming in front of me. Oh, those are like big fish. We need to find the entrance down there. Yeah. I would put this above Blue Lagoon and Pearl Island, I think. I think this is better because you have that nice beach area in addition to the water slides. So. And there's a pool. There's like a completely empty pool that we were sitting right near. I don't think Blue Lagoon or Pearl Island have a pool. There's more options for food. If you wanted to, I think you could go play at the casino. Yeah, I think the food is included in, in the other places, but not here, obviously, but for sure. whatever. There's an alarm going off. It's like Jurassic Park in the here. And we're just keep walking. Wow. This area is cool. It's well themed. Yeah. There's like an alarm going off in the aquarium section. So I think like a shark escaped or something. Yeah, probably. This is scary. This is terrifying. There's like noises of like something trying to like break in. And after all the alarms going off. And there's like a rattlesnake sound. I feel like the tank for the big fish used to be like here. Huh. Or maybe this is it. Oh, that might be him. Maybe it's him. He's sleeping. I remember a much bigger fish. But I also was smaller, so. Oh my god, this is. Whoa. There's like an electric eel shocking something. Oh. And now it's exiting us in the hotel lobby, I guess. That's cool. Well, now I'm all turned around.
in terms of like whether or not you, sh you like should like book this excursion like if you want to go to a crazy water park and you love lazy rivers and you want to see an insane lazy river i think it's worth it yeah this is the only water park i've ever been to where you literally have to sign a waiver to get into it yeah that's kind of crazy and then they were like announcing on the lazy river like you will get hurt if you don't assume this position yeah <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot of injuries at this place. Yeah. But it's cool. It is. And cool. it's fun. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going back to the bus stop. And um, they told us for our cruise for this day, um, the bus picks you up at either 2.30 or 3.30. So now we're going to head back on the bus and go back to the, where the ships are. Okay, we were just over there. Now we're back at the dock. And I have a fun fact. Do you know what these little circle things are around the rope? No, I don't. What, what's your best guess? They... Um, they kill all the fish in the water when they throw the line. <laughs> no. So, it's funny that this is a Disney ship because um, it's literally called a rat guard. What's it called? They call it a rat guard. And like, I'm not even kidding. It's called a rat guard. I don't, I don't understand. Why is it funny that it's Disney and it's called because a rat guard? Because Disney, like Mickey Mouse and a rat. A rat guard. Yeah. I thought you said rag. So it's to stop the rats from crawling up onto the, from the dock into the ship. That's literally what it's for. That's old timey. Like, when I read about that, I'm like, come on. Like, that's not necessary that's not anymore. That's, that's literally what it is and that's, that's what it's for. For like the 1800s, come on now. I know, there's no rats around here. Yeah. Except for on that ship, apparently. Uh -huh. His name is Mickey. Oh, here's a closer look at it. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. Rat guard. And it also goes in the water and it spins around and it kills all the fish. No, because they just attach them like when they're here. I'm just here. kidding. You know, what I, you know what I thought it was before I knew like what it was? I thought it was um to keep people from climbing, like oh. people from climbing up it. That's funny. That would because, make like, sense. You wouldn't be able to, like, but like you would climb over that probably, maybe. I don't know. You should try. Okay. Uh, we just opened up our door. And, and we've we have... only been in here for like 10 minutes or something like that. Yeah, we have this little thing. Let's, let's look at this and close the door here. Whoa. Oh my God, there's a QR code. So I think it's... What does this say? Wait, are you hiding ducks as well? Two little girls in 2313 would love if you're interested in a duck swap. Oh my God, this we is like a scary note. We don't have ducks, we, we already hid them. <laughs> we can't swap. Yeah, sisters cruise, Minda turns 50. Wait, is it on your birthday? Wait, this is from May 5th through oh, 14th. Oh, they, they, they kept this. Enchantment of the seas. Wow. wow. That's so funny that with the duck magnets on the door, people like leave ducks. Also, it's it's creepy that I have this hair tie. Yeah, and like, what the heck? This is like a serial killer <laughs> type thing. I don't want to touch this. I don't want to, be I don't want to touch it. <laughs> this is really funny, and like, we don't have anything. We don't have anything. I want to write back, but it's like... We're sorry we hid them all. Yeah. Thanks for the duck. <laughs> okay, let's go get ice cream. Okay. What should I do with this? Should I, should I throw this on the top of um, Expedition, Expedition Everest? Everest at Animal Kingdom? You or? know, if you were me, you would. No, I'm actually just gonna throw it away. Okay, ice cream. Yeah. It is kind of funny that they like, they like MacGyver their way a, a solution to like stick it on the door. It's really funny. And they made a sacrifice. They're like, I'm giving up my hair tie for this. What's but, so funny is that they were on deck two and they, they like came this. up here somehow. Walked Maybe they were hiding way. ducks, but here's the magnets we were talking about. Yeah. So that's probably why. Looking for ducks, so. Okay, anyway, ice cream. Ice cream. I love the lighting in the promenade during the day. You know it's better than at night. It almost has the Oasis class lighting. Yeah. Like they make it seem like that's a window, like it's into Central like, Park. Or like real sunlight coming in, yeah. And there's no crazy music blasting. Are we old? Yeah, <laughs> I think we are. <laughs> we don't like loud music. No. But we're young because we do like ice cream. We do. Okay, what flavor did you get? I got butter pecan or pecan, depending on who you are. I got the milk and cookies. That's what you got yesterday. And I really enjoyed it and recommend it. Brian asked if I'd be okay with taking a 30 second break from eating ice cream to film him and I said yes. I'm also making a sacrifice by not eating for 30 seconds, but I think I can manage. You can manage it. So we saw a sign in the promenade here with a QR code and it said, the compass is now green or whatever. Yeah. And 
security was like, oh, I'm going to scan this to get the compass. And I was like, Psh, don't even bother. She's going to bring you to the app. Well, guess what? It Carrie's didn't... right for once. Yeah, Carrie's right. For... It didn't bring you up. It actually brings you to a digital PDF. This is not the app. Oh this is a PDF God. of the cruise compass. What? This is our ninth Royal Caribbean cruise together. We've never noticed that before. And I'm happy with that because it's like... I didn't like the compass because it was on paper. Well, I, I did, but like I liked it because like, of the layout. We like this format. There is way more information in here than in the app. The yeah. app does not tell you everything. Yep. This tells you everything. There's way more here. And Brian and I have been talking, and Brian and I are the perfect people to talk about this. You could so easily fit this exact information into an app. There's two columns on each page. You yeah. take each column and you just put it into an app Does layout. Does show up? Um, no, but you record your screen. Um, I can't do that. Yes, you can. Oh, so I'm a graphic designer and Brian's a app programmer, basically. And so, Royal, hire us. We can make this, we can turn this PDF into, we'll put it on your app. But anyway, I'm happy with a digital cruise compass. If I can get a PDF of the printed one, that's really cool. I had no idea those QR codes brought you to that. I'm happy about that's it. Cool. We took a picture of it. We want to test yeah. to see if tomorrow it'll give us like... It might be a different code. I don't know. Yeah. We'll, we'll see what happens. Yeah. They're playing another Halloween movie. They're playing Hocus Pocus. That's cool. It's all just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Do you know which character is my favorite? Who? The cat. Oh god. <laughs> you knew that. Oh my god. Has everyone seen Hocus Pocus 2? We have. We have. And I fell asleep. But he loved it. <laughs> After our ice cream, we laid by the pool, we went to the casino. Um, it's formal night tonight, so we didn't want to be a part of that, so <laughs> we had dinner somewhere else. Playmakers, it was delicious. Yeah, we went to Playmakers. It was like extra good. Yeah. We both got the chicken sandwich because yeah. tomorrow we might not be able to get it at Perfect Day. Yeah. Because we're doing the beach club, so we might not go to the snack shack, but we probably still will go to the snack shack. Yeah, we can get um, two lunches. Yeah. So we got the chicken sandwich and the onion rings. Both of those things were really good. Like, it seemed like better than usual. I agree. It was really good, but um, it was really loud in there. They were playing... Um, Clemson. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, so we couldn't do our question. So we're gonna do our question now. To do our question now. These padded chairs are the best. They really are. I love the pads on them. And look how cool you look. Yeah, I look very cool, don't I? Yeah. Okay. Tonight's question is by Jay Diddy, and um, their avatar is a dog, so that's cool. Oh, we like that. And um, I really like their question. Like I. I really, like, when I first read this, I was like, oh, I love this question. <laughs> okay. If the ship sank right now, but you both survived, which we would. Of course. And made it to a deserted island, what would you steal from the ship, and would you survive? Oh, I wasn't aware that we were going to a deserted island. Yeah, so we, we did talk about this at dinner. Yeah, told, he hyped I up told, the question. I, I asked Carrie the question. I said, think about this. Don't tell me your answer, but I said, just think about it. But now everything's different. I forgot about the part about um, because if it's, would we survive? Yeah. Well, okay. Well, it's it's. He said we definitely survive. Read the whole thing again. Well, he said he said if the ship sank right now, but you both survived and made it to a deserted island, what would you steal from the ship and would you survive? Okay, so would we survive on the deserted island because we survived the shipwreck to get to the deserted island, but now it's a question of will we survive on the deserted island? Yeah. Okay. Got it. I kind of took this as the ship is sinking, let's steal something, like a valuable thing. Yeah, that's how he phrased it to me. That's how I phrased it to Gary earlier. Yeah. Okay, but let's just, okay, I, we actually just watched a video like a few weeks ago about like if a ship sank, like a cruise ship, and like you were in the water, how long could you survive in that water? Yeah. And it's shocking. I always thought like if this ship goes down, I, I can float for days, I'm fine. Yeah. Basically, like scientifically, like your body will shut down in water that's like under like 75 degrees. Like, yeah, literally your body will start to shut down and you can't do anything about it and you'll go unconscious. And like, I didn't know about if that. you don't have something to float with, like you are a goner. Like they were telling like they were saying like the Titanic victims, like literally like they had no chance because 
after like five or ten minutes like their body like shut down and like that was it wick yeah they yeah. were like apparently the the temperature of the water like really yeah shut down their body and then yeah donezo so like if you're in like alaska like, yeah and the ship went down like you could only be in the water for so long but i feel like in the caribbean we'd probably be okay yeah and until a shark comes and, and let's just let's just say like if this ship sank and everyone survived and no one got hurt i would love for that to happen oh my god don't say that. we're not keeping that what it would be exciting if everyone survived and no one got hurt but it hurts the ship the obvious answer is steal the lifeboat that's but that's where you're taking it from people that need it. I don't know. I also think that, you know, that's the method of getting to the deserted island. Yeah. It's already assumed that we're on the deserted island. So we need yeah. something that's going to help us stay alive on the deserted island. Okay. So what would you take? Well, okay. When Brian asked this question, he was like, what's something that you would want to steal? And I was like, what a fun question. And I was like, the cow from Ben and Jerry's. <laughs> But now that I know that it's like for survival, the cow's not gonna do anything for me. So I need something that's either gonna generate food or water. You would take the water filtration system. <laughs> <laughs> that seems easy. No, I feel like we need to find like some rope. We need to steal like a dinner knife from oh. chops. Um, we need to get like crafty here. Yeah, and the cow. From Ben yeah. and Jerry's. <laughs> Inside that cow might be real meat. We don't know. Or, or you could use it to like get like like other animals, oh, like, like to try to prey on it, and then you then you yeah you swoop in. I like that. So, rope, knife, cow. I'm gonna take this question as like take something valuable that you like and that you want to just keep as a souvenir. Like the cow from a, from a sunken ship. No. So if this was a if it was a Disney ship, I would take the statue that's in the atrium. I would take um, the character that's on the back of the ship. That's good too, because there's like unique items, and it's like, look, I have, I have like that. Donald from the Sunken Dream. Yeah. Remember the dream that sunk? I have Donald. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's the equivalent of that here? So okay, because I was thinking like, what's the equivalent of the stat unique statue on Royal? So I would take the sign. Um, on the top deck that says Independence of the Seas. Wow. Yeah. That's what I would take. What if That'd I took really cool. the telescope from the observatorium? <laughs> the escape room? Yeah. <laughs> no, I I would take that the independence sign and like put it like in my living room or something. That'd be really cool. Your living room or our <laughs> living room? I'm telling them that you stole it. That what? That you stole it. I'm telling them that you stole it. It's trash. It's on the bottom of the ocean anyway. It's an artifact that should be in a museum. <laughs> I love the question though. So I, thank yeah, you, Jay Diddy. Is, this is the kind of question we're looking for. We want something cra crazy that we can think about and, and fight about. That's what we want. So we ask us fight. a dinner time question. Leave us a question that we can fight about, please. <laughs> I was trying to act like I'm not out of breath. Oh, from walking up the stairs. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go see if we have a towel animal, like <sighs> us. <laughs> Wait, there's a note. Oh, thank you for the tips. That's awkward. <laughs> we don't tip. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Uh, uh, it's, what? This is really insane. It's a penguin. No. This is really what cool. What has I've like such a this. triangular? I... Oh. This is from the Wash Your Hands music video. Oh my god! You say that every time we get a kind of funky one. No, seriously. I love when we get one that's like we've never seen this. Yeah, she's done that twice. Yeah. And you know what's interesting? On the back side of this, cruise compass gone green. It's the QR code. Oh my god. This is what we were talking about earlier. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. Also, she um, put your blanket underneath like you like it. I do like that. How'd they, wow. How'd they figure that out quickly? I think it's right. because I leave it there. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so what what is the the final answer for this? No. I'm caught up on the triangular shape of the head. There's like a weird bird that kind of has a triangular head, but 
Not like this. You know what I'm actually thinking of? A Pokemon. A Pokemon bird. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? There's like a, it's like black and it has a triangular head. Oh. But okay, I think I think this is gonna be um uh wash your hands. Because he's hiding his hands. It can't be a bird because it's got four legs. Where my mom used to think that birds had four legs. Oh. And it took her a long time to figure out that they only have two. Okay, this is the wash your hands guy and um, he's hiding his hands because they're unwashed. Oh, he's wearing a hat. That's why it's triangular. Oh, that's not it. But that is kind of Halloween. That would fit for Halloween though. Yeah, but look, he only has two legs and a tail. That's not even close. I think it's this guy. This guy right here in red. Oh, that's the second character that we've found from the Wash Your Hands video. <laughs> I can't think of anything else. It's cool though, I, I really like it. And I always like when they use sunglasses. Yeah. Let's see what it looks like outside. Dark. Before we were hardly moving, yeah, okay. We can't see a thing. <laughs> but that little speck of light is the Disney Wish. It's much easier to see in real life. And that's what it is. Yeah, we're hardly moving because um, we don't really have that far to go between Nassau and, and Coco Key. So we'll see you at Coco Key tomorrow. I think I'm gonna go night night now. Coming up in our next video, we dock in Coco Key where we check out the Coco Beach Club.